Our today's topic is 4.6 Undetermined Coefficients Inhalated Approach from the chapter 4 Linear Differential Equations of Higher Order. First of all, we will revise annihilator operator we have learned in section 4.5. Annihilator operator if L is a linear differential operator with constant coefficient and f is sufficiently differentiable function such that L of f of x is equal to 0, then L is said to be an inhalator of the function. So, L is a differential operator when applied on a function, differentiable function f, and it gives 0, then L is said to be inhalator of f. For example, a constant function y is equal to k. So, d is the differential operator. We apply one time, we differentiate one times the constant, we get 0. So, d is the annihilator operator for constant. The function y is equal to x is annihilated by d square. d square means two times derivative. First, we apply uh, d on x we get 1 and then again if we apply d we get 0. So d square annihilates x. For x square we the, uh, the annihilator operator is d cube. First time applied it becomes 2x. Second time it becomes 2 and third time it becomes 0. So generally we can say that the Differential operator d raised power n annihilates each of the function power of x up to n minus 1. For these types of functions, exponential functions, these are annihilated by d minus alpha raised to power n. And the functions or cos beta x sin beta x, e raised power x cos beta x or e raised power sin beta x or some x some power of x is applied x with it uh, can be annihilated by the differential operator d square minus 2 alpha d plus alpha square plus beta square raised to power n because these are the solution of these functions undetermined coefficient uh, did you remember we have studied undetermined coefficient in section 4.4? There we have studied the superposition approach. Now we are studying annihilator approach. So first of all, we have given a linear differential equation with constant coefficient, and gx is one of the following constant polynomial exponential or cos beta x or sin beta x their sums or their products and we uh, find we find its general solution and we note that the general solution of a non-homogeneous linear differential equation is of the form sum of complementary function and particular function we know how to find the solution of complementary function we studied in section 4.3 now to find the uh, solution, particular solution, we will use annihilator approach. So what we will do in, in the undetermined co uh, method, undetermined coefficient method, we suppose a particular solution by looking at gx and then we put the yp and its derivatives in the general uh, general equation differential equation given differential equation and then we find the general solution so this process is called this process of determining particular solution is called method of undetermined coefficient so uh, we can write the linear differential equation with constant coefficient uh, the non-homogeneous linear differential equation with constant coefficient as l by is equal to gx where l is the um, uh, sum of combination of linear combination of 
differential operators. So a differential equation can be written as Ly is equal to gx. Now the gx should be uh, polynomial exponential or cos beta x or sin beta x and constant is also a polynomial. Now what we, uh, how will we will find the particular solution? First of all we will find the annihilator L1 of gx. Then we will apply G, uh, the annihilator on both sides of the given differential equation. So it will become L1 Ly is equal to L1 G of x. Now L1 G of x will be 0 because L1 is the annihilator operator of gx. So we get a homogeneous equation. Now we will find its uh, solution, solution of homogeneous equation and it and we will compare it with the particular solution of Ly is equal to gx. And then the complementary function of Ly is equal to gx, we x, uh, remove it and the remaining portion will, uh, will, will be the particular solution. So we will assume that to be the particular solution and uh, depending upon the differential equation, we will take its derivatives. We will put uh, the value of particular solution in the differential equation and then we will find the coefficient values of coefficient and then at last we will write the general solution. So the method will be the differential equation L y is equal to G x has constant coefficient and the function gx consists of finite sums and products of constant polynomials, exponential functions, sine and cosine. I again remind you constant is also polynomial but whenever we think of polynomial we assume a variable and its power. So that's why we write constant separately otherwise constant is also a polynomial. First of all when uh, we have given a non-homogeneous linear differential equation, we will find its complementary function. Complement what is complementary function? Uh, the solution of the homogeneous associated homogeneous equation L by is equal to 0. Then we uh, look at a gx and we will find its annihilator. Then operate on both sides of this equation the annihilator of gx. Then this equation will become L1 Ly is equal to 0 where L1 is the annihilator of gx. Then we find its solution and delete the uh, complementary function, the terms of complementary function. The remaining terms we, uh, we will assume be the particular solution of Ly is equal to gx. Now substitute this particular solution in the equation L y is equal to gx and we get the unknown coefficient in y p. So write the particular solution found in this step and the complementary solution found in first step and their sum will be the general solution of the given differential equation. I have done our question for you. So that you can understand, it is a question number 15 from exercise 4.6. Solve the differential equation by undetermined coefficients. So here we will use the annihilator approach. This is our differential equation. We mark is at equation 1. Now we will find the solution of associated homogeneous equation. So it's the the auxiliary equation of associated homogeneous equation is m square plus 6m plus 9 is equal to 0. So it is the uh, square of m plus 3. It can be written as a, a m square plus 3 square plus 2 into 3m. So we get two roots m1 and m2 which is minus 3. So the complementary function become c1 e raised to power minus 3x plus c2 x e raised to the power of minus 3 x. Uh, did you remember uh, when a uh, solution is repeated we add x and its powers. So it is the 
complementary function of equation number one. Now we will see at the gx. gx is minus x e to the power four x. So it, uh, for exponential we have d uh, minus alpha, and for x it means its power is two. So it will be annihilated by x e to the power four x will be annihilated by d minus four whole square. When applied on this, will give zero. So it is the annihilator operator of gx. So we multiply this annihilator operator on both side of the differential equation one. When we apply on both side, uh, we write this uh, this d square plus six d plus nine y in the form of d plus three whole square. And we apply on both side, and the right hand side becomes zero. Now this is a homogeneous differential equation. We find its auxiliary equation m minus four whole square m plus three whole square is equal to zero, and its roots are m one m two is equal to minus three, and m three and m four is equal to four. So we write its solution y is equal to c one. Uh, three is repeated two times. e is power minus three x plus c two x e is power minus three x, and four is also repeated two times. Plus c3 e to the power 4x plus c4 x e to the power 4x. Now since this part is repeated in the complementary function, so we will exclude this and we will suppose the particular solution y p is equal to we can uh, change variable for uh, our convenience. So we write. Uh, a e to the power 4x plus b x e to the power 4x as a particular solution. Now we put this particular solution in equation number one. So equation one is d square of y. So d square of y gives. Uh, I have already uh, taken derivatives. So d square y p means two times derivative. So I already uh, taken derivative here. If y p is this, then y prime p is equal to 4 a e to the power 4 x plus 4 b x e to the power 4 x uh, because here two function x and e to the power 4 uh, e to the power 4 x, so we will apply product rule. First, uh, I take derivative of e to the power 4 x and then I take derivative of x, so it will become b e to the power 4 x. Now, uh, taking second derivative, we get 4 into 4, 16, 16 a e to the power 4x plus uh, if we differentiate e to the power 4x first, then it will become become 16 b x e to the power 4x, and if we take a uh, derivative of x, then it will become 4 b e to the power 4x, and uh, its derivative is 4 b e to the power 4x. Now we We and d square y gives this. D square y gave us this. Four plus four. And plus six d y gives. Plus six d y gives. This plus nine y plus nine y p is equal to x e to the power minus four x. Now taking sum, we get sixteen a e to the power four x plus twenty four a e to the power four x plus nine a e to the power four x is equal to forty nine. 49 a e to the power 4x. Similarly, 8 b e to the power 4x plus 6 b e to the power 4x becomes 14 e b e to the power 4x. So e to the power 4x is common in both these terms. 
Now 16 bx e to the power 4x plus 24 bx e to the power 4x plus 9 bx e to the power 4x become 49 bx e to the power 4x is equal to ex minus x e to the power 4x. Now comparing coefficients, uh, 49 b is equal to minus 1 gives b is equal to minus 1 over 49. And here 49a plus 49 plus 14b is equal to 0. So uh, putting the value of b here, we get a is equal to 2 over 343. So by putting value of a and b in yp, and uh, the general solution is y is equal to yc. General solution is y is equal to yc complementary function plus particular solution. So y c is c1 e to the power minus 3x plus c2 x e to the power minus 3x and y p is y p is uh, a 2 3 2 by 343 e to the power 4x plus minus 1 over 49 1 by 49 x e to the power 4x. So this is a general solution. I hope you solve other questions of this exercise and if, if you find any problem you can Ask me a comment. Thank you very much.